So I wanted to buy some Nike shoes for my trail running and I understood that there are not a lot of videos already existing for the comparison. So with this one, I would like to do this. I have here with me the Nike Kyger 9. Nike Pegasus 4 Jortex and a shoe that I already had before Nike Vaporfly so this is this is not a trail running shoe this is a pure marathon based shoe that was supported for the streets and let's dive into them I'll first actually start with my Nike Kyger 9, Kyger 9 here so this actually at the first look i was quite surprised this this is this looks pretty race racing ready we have a nice mesh with a with a breathable mesh and a very thin so it it doesn't protect you from the rain but uh, but still gives you a lot of air air for your foot to breathe in and uh, in in comparison to this if you look at gore-tex it already has this uh, so as as the tag says here already it's for keeping you dry so even if you're running in the wet surfaces i think it's much better if you're running with the gore-tex instead of running with kyger 9 and uh, other than this instead of this mesh this breathable mesh gore-tex has this thicker layer on, on the top which which protects you from the wet rain as well and as a next point, uh, the midsole for both of them comes with the, the React midsole. So it mentions React here. I'm not sure if you can see it already, but it, it mentions React over here. So this midsole and this midsole, both of them has React in them. Uh, it gives extra comfort. It uh, protects you from, it gives you good feedback on the road as well. So in, in that way, both of them are similar. But other than this, the more important difference, what I see here is in Kyger 9, you see that the bottom sole, actually it's, it's just made for, as it already also boasts about, it's all only made up, made for dry surfaces. So you can see, you can really dive in, dive into the, to the land, but in case you want to save yourself from extra pebbles and uh, some water then this sole looks pretty much fine from Gore-Tex so as you see this just does only comes with the diving in factors but then over here you see that the there are there are things that can slide other things outside the shoe as well so if you're running at wet surfaces I'll definitely recommend this uh, about the weight so this weight I, I was thinking actually that the Kyger 9 should weight more uh, uh, should weight less but actually it weighs pretty much less I just weighed them on my wing machine and it says it is 240 grams and this one here although it looks pretty much robust it weighs only 233 grams so almost 7 grams less than the Kyger 9 and what else yeah I think this is about it so my conclusion about these trail running shoes would be if you want to run like very fast uh, in dry surfaces you can use the Kyger 9 but in case you also want to do trail running in the snow surfaces or the wet surfaces or in tough weather conditions I think the Gore-Tex it has a win here and because I already showed my marathon shoe here Vaporfly I, I would like to talk about it as well so the same way the Kyger 9 was let's put it in the same place so the same way Kyger 9 was built up with a breathable mesh it comes with a breathable mesh as well my Vaporfly but it doesn't have an extra layer inside so if, if you can see here in the Kyger 9 there is an extra layer so 
this just this just adds an extra comfort and uh, for, for suitable for trails but other than this yeah so this is the vapor fly it comes only with a breathable mesh very good for the summers but not so good for the winters to run in the harsh winter conditions um, of europe for example it would be tricky to run in them i, I generally run in them in, in the warm conditions and what else so the only difference i the only reason i bought these trail running shoes were because the vaporfly although it's it's an amazing shoe but it doesn't come with the trail running um, underfoot underfoot sole so it doesn't provide you much traction so i would say use them only in case if you want to run on dry surfaces and mostly on the roads on the asphalt it works perfectly fine but when i when i went to the forest it gave me very less grip so i was very very slow with these ones in the forest so yeah the result is if you want to buy a trail running shoe you can go with gore-tex or kiger 9 kiger 9 if you want to run fast go for kiger 9 and dry surfaces kiger 9 if you want if you can compromise with a bit of speed and you necessarily want to run on the wet surfaces or in cold weather conditions i would say go for nike pegasus for gore-tex this ones thanks good luck happy running